How's it going people? Welcome back to yet another amazing video from yours truly Dapper Willis. Now guys, I know I'm actually sat on my couch. Yes, um, today I decided to do a very relaxed video because I wanted to have a conversation with you guys. Now guys, in this video, I'm going to be sharing my most profitable trade. Like this trade was an absolute game changer for me. And the reason why I felt the need to share this um, trade with you guys is because I can see the market opening up again. We've seen oil prices go through the roof. We've seen the euro collapse. We've seen gold go through the roof as well. The market is absolutely smashing it right now, meaning that there are more opportunities now than ever. Okay, so um, there was a particular trade that I made five five thousand pips from. Okay, and I want to share that story with you guys. So I want to sh I want to share with you guys how I was able to predict the trade, how I was able to predict 5,000 pips, and how I was able to enter the trade, and how I, was, how I was able to manage my trade, and how I was able to make a lot of money from the trade. Okay, guys, so in this one particular trade, I think it was over 100,000 US dollars from one trade. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how exactly I made over a hundred thousand US dollars from one trade. Now, if you're interested in finding out how to, and guys, it was just it, it was okay. It wasn't just one trade. It was a couple of trades, but on one pair, in one move, in from one analysis. So, if you are interested in finding out how exactly you can, because the market is presenting those opportunities right now as we speak. So, if I were you, I would sit back, listen to everything I've got to say in this video. Alright guys, so um, before I jump into the nitty gritties of the video, I just wanted to say a quick shout out to every single one of you who's been watching these, these videos, been gaining value, all the Forex Mastery students, I love you guys very much, all the subscribers, you guys are absolutely amazing. Today I just decided to just sit on my couch and actually just converse with you guys because I'm always on my desk bashing up, bashing up. We've been, you know, talking about charts uh, a lot lately. We've actually made a lot of money from the euro to oil um, and now, and gold as well. And now I can see more trades lining up as well. Now, let's go into um, this fantastic trade that I'm talking about. Now, guys, the trade in question, the pair that I was trading at the time was actually gold. I made 100, 115,000 US dollars from one move from one move and this is why i keep preaching to you guys it's not how many different pairs you trade that make you money it's not how many times you even trade it's not how long you spend in front of your screen that makes you money okay um it's all about doing your analysis properly okay and doing when i mean analysis your top-down analysis your ability to go on higher time frames and anticipate thousands of pips into the future. I preach this a lot, but let me exactly explain to you. Let me explain to you guys how exactly I was able to put this to practice and make a significant amount of money. Now, um, like I keep saying, um, the trade was gold, right? So this was in 2018, late 17. I, I had seen the market try to like set up in 2017. But it was in 2018 that I was able to, and I will try as much as possible to put screenshots here so that you guys can understand it. But I want you guys to listen to the thought process, to my thought process, you know, as to how I went to bag 5,000 pips from, you know, this, just, just, just this one pip, right? So 2018, I had seen gold set up. Gold was setting up pretty nicely. Um, at the time, nobody could really see what was happening because um, gold was in a range on a daily time frame and a weekly time frame okay four hour time frame traders and one hour time frame traders were making money today losing money tomorrow making money today losing money to work tomorrow now all i simply did was i went on a monthly time frame and from a monthly time frame perspective i'd seen that gold had rallied up you know and had pulled back and whilst it was pulling back it pulled back into a Fibonacci level, a 50 Fibonacci level, right? Um, so for you to be able to understand what I'm saying in this video, you might need some background when it comes to Forex trading. Um, and better still, you I would advise you to be a Forex mastery student because the mastery students understand exactly uh, what I'm going to be explaining here. But let me carry on. So gold had rallied up, um, you know, huge, this is a monthly time frame. Anyways, that consolidation that everybody was saying, like, gold isn't going anywhere, gold isn't going anywhere. I noticed two things. I noticed that that consolidation was actually a pullback from a massive move that lasted maybe three or four years, okay? 
Now, guys, I want you to once again listen and understand the thought process. I, when I say monthly time frame, people run away. When I say weekly, guys, these are the bedrocks of future price predictions. Okay, the higher time frames will give way to rather will give birth to the lower time frame movements. Okay, so you understanding what's happening on higher time frames is to your own advantage. Nobody's asking you to trade on these higher time frames. Okay, so back to what I was saying. So on the monthly time frame, I'd seen that the market had rallied all the way to the upside and had pulled back, and then the market was consolidating. It was consolidating for a very long time. Now, within that consolidation on the monthly time frame, I had spotted something that looked like an inverse head and shoulder. Forex Mastery students, you already know module four, I'm sorry, module five talks about trend reversals. Okay. Now, these principles are very simple, okay? I had seen that this consolidation was an inverse head and shoulder. Now, what does an inverse head and shoulder look like? I'll put it here. Let me try and put it here, okay? This is exactly what an inverse head and shoulder looks like. So, the market dips down, it pulls up, it dips down lower, pulls up and dips down, forming a right shoulder, which is going to be at the same price as the left shoulder. So, let's say we fall down to $5, okay? We pull up. And we fall down to two dollars and we pull up and we fall down back to five dollars at the same so it now looks like left shoulder go up head right shoulder now this is for people who know nothing about forex trading so i had seen this pattern form on a monthly time frame now an inverse head and shoulder simply means that if the market reverses so an inverse head and shoulder is a reversal pattern meaning that if the market sustains that reversal based on that inverse head and shoulder okay so don't forget it looks like a w just imagine what a w looks like right so an inverse head and shoulder is a freaking w right and the philosophies of trading state that um if you're able to break the neckline of that w once you break it um the market is most likely going to reverse in that direction so don't forget gold had gone up like this come down giving us a w so we were at the point of the w but a lot of traders could not understand what was happening at the time because i mean like if you're not a higher time if you don't have the skill set when it comes to analyzing higher time frames you will struggle with things like this so a lot of people were getting chopped in and chopped out and you know it was an absolute mess i kept on seeing people you know getting slaughtered by gold and i was just obviously i was just laughing now and this is what i always preach on the forex mastery program like you know your top-down analysis will give you the ability to understand not just even the ability to trade, but understand when to stay the hell out of the game. So I'd, I've been away from gold for a long time and I'd seen the W pattern form. Now, don't forget, guys, this is a monthly time frame. And, and this is the ideology of the top-down analysis. Now, guys, I want to give you the, the, the absolute hack to this game. This is why I want to give you the absolute bombshell to this whole thing. So, in essence... The top-down analysis is, you know, and what we what we speak about on the, on the Forex Mastery program. By the way, for those of you who haven't got in the program, the link is going to be around here somewhere. As always, we put the link down here. But let me tell you the value of this thing I keep talking about. This Forex Mastery course, this blah, 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 blah. The idea of the Forex Mastery is your ability to identify big time patterns on higher time frames. So, for example, in this trade, it was gold. And because it was happening on a big time frame, um, meaning that if that consolidation, if that W pattern eventually plays out, because it's a monthly time frame, it will play out into thousands of pips. You guys know that higher time, a lot of people don't like to trade the higher time frame because they don't have the patience to wait for the market to move. You don't have to trade on the higher time frames. Your, your, the top down analysis and the Forex Mastery program teaches you how to identify the breakouts on higher time frames so that you can use lower time frame strategies to jump in to the trade. Now, back to this example. Back to this example. Literally, it was a breakout pattern. Okay? It was a push to the upside. We had pulled back. As we pulled back into the 50 Fibonacci region, the market had come into a range. And that range was looking ripe to break out. Breakouts happen all the time. So you probably ask me, Daps, what's, what, what, like, I could just trade a one hour time frame breakout for. It's fine. You can do all that. But think about it this way. If a market ranges on a one hour time frame and we break out of that range, right? It's a situation of we rally 
50, 70, 80, 100 pips max. Okay? The philosophies are the same. The only difference is, why would I be stressing myself trying to catch 50, 80, 100 pips when I can use my analytical skills and identify breakouts on big time frames, knowing fully well that when they break out, they will rally 5,000 to 8,000 pips. This is the idea, and this is what I keep preaching on the channel. Okay? And once you're able to identify these things, you're not expected to trade on those time frames. So back to the example, which is gold. Now for gold, um, and I, like I teach on Forex Mastery Program, Module 5 once again, you guys already know what reversal patterns look like, okay? It is it is double bottoms, double tops, inverse head and shoulders and he head and shoulder patterns that form on higher time frames like monthly time frames. Another thing that I noticed about, you know, from my years of trading is anytime a chart pattern forms on a higher time frame, it always most likely holds. And this gold trade is no different. As a matter of fact, this gold trade just confirmed everything. So the W pattern had formed there was the neckline. All I needed to do was simply wait for the market to break the neckline. Did I trade on a higher time frame? No. I waited for a monthly candle close break above the neckline. Now, what I'm saying might be confusing a lot of you guys. If you don't understand what I'm saying, hmm, I suggest you to grab the Forex Mastery Program. Once again, the link is going to be around here somewhere. It is packed with so much value, so much information, so that you can sit down from where I'm sat, like right about here. All I need is one screen. I can look at this stuff in five, five, three, five minutes. I can anticipate two to five thousand pips into the future. Okay, so back to what I was saying. Um, the neckline. Now you know the market was you know ripe, wanting to break that range. So all I did was I simply waited for the monthly candle to break above and close above. Now today I'm not really going to be showing too many charts, just screenshots because. If you scroll through my channel, you see I'm always talking technicals, technicals, technicals. Today, I want to converse, okay? Um, I will definitely be back on the charts very soon, uh, maybe 10 days from now, once the market is ripe. By the way, GBPUSD is looking very sweet. And my lips are dry. Give me a sec. Think about my lips being dry. Is this camera, I've got a new camera. It's really sharp. The thing catches out every single spot on my face, every single crack lip. Guys, hold on one sec. <laughs> Anyways, back to what I was saying. So, um, you know, like that was it. Like, so the market was looking really, really ripe. And all I did was waited for a monthly candle to break above and close above the neckline. Did I trade the monthly candle close um, break of the monthly candle um, of the monthly? Sorry. Did I? Hold on. Did I trade the, the, the break of the monthly candle close? No, I didn't. What did I do? I simply waited for the monthly candle to close, break above, close above. Then I came on a lower time frame. But you have to understand that because of the fact that I'd done my analysis on a higher time frame, I had been able to anticipate 5,000 pips into the future. Okay, guys, hold on one sec. I think this. Sorry, guys, I got a bit distracted there. My, my phone here was giving me a little bit of distraction. Now, guys, back to what I was talking about. So, for the gold situation, let me just quickly summarize it, right? So, I've seen the pullback, and the market was, you know, the market had ranged for maybe about 4,000 pips. Now, one of the philosophies of Forex state that we will break out for okay let me give you an example so if we range for 4000 pips when we break out of that range we would most likely rally for 4000 pips in this case the range was about 5000 pips so i just said to myself like listen if this thing breaks out everything was indicating to the upside everything was indicating to the upside i'm like listen i literally have a potential 5000 pips with looking at me right about now okay and like I said, all I did was wait for the monthly candle to break above, close above. Then I came on a daily time frame. Now, what I do on a daily time frame is I look out for the trend within the trend. What this simply means is simple. Um, 
I would, for instance, before that market, the monthly time candle had broken above the neckline, best believe that the market had wiggled its way all the way to the top of the neckline, right? You know how it goes. When you when you scale down from a high time frame to a low time frame, you see all the little wiggles going all the way to exactly. So all I did was, you know, on the daily time frame, what exactly you're required to do is okay, I think I'm giving away too much information at this point. Forex mastery students are gonna kill me. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna tell you all the information if you want to understand how to trade like this you're going to have to grab the program the link is around here somewhere in here you know they always put the links here in the description i also realized that um people from nigeria were having issues paying for the forex mastery program due to their card limitation i understand that i am predominantly nigerian um, I know the challenges you guys are facing with the economy. So what we've done is we've put down on, if you go to the, the, to the checkout page of the Forex Mastery Program, you will see a link, just scroll down properly. You see a link that says Naira cards here so you can pay in your local currency. But for the rest of the world, just go as normal, just click the $99, fill in your card information, click next and go. Please don't get confused. Everybody do as normal. All the people from Nigeria are required to scroll down a bit more. And then um, this is a, this is I'm talking about where you are. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'll tell my team to put a pay stack link in the description of this video, so you literally see it. Every other person just grab the program normally, but we'll indicate the link that's only for Nigerians. Please ignore it if you're not from Nigeria, from South Africa, Botswana, Uganda, UK, US, Canada, wherever it is you are from. You see, grab the Forex Mastery program here. I'll click one of the links here. But if you're from Nigeria, you have to look a bit more carefully because we'll put links especially for you guys. You guys know I love to I love to help you guys, and I have a lot of a lot of Forex subscribers from Nigeria. I can't not ignore you guys you guys are absolutely what fantastic shout out to all my nigerian brothers and shout out to all my african brothers you know what shout out to all my brothers whether if you're black or white anyways back to what i was saying so that was pretty much the goal trade it was so simple and straightforward so the breakout now happened the breakout happened and um the breakout happened and I simply scroll down to a daily time frame, look for the trend within the trend, and, and I use my entry strategy to enter. Now, because I could see that, look, we had range about 5,000 pips. That means we're going to rally another 5,000 pips, meaning that in, within 5,000 pips, I could add more trades. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't need to take only one trade. On a normal day, I wouldn't have made 100K on one trade. Now, this is the power of the top-down analysis and the Forex Mastery program. Because of the fact it's a huge move, what I did was I got in at the first pullback. After the breakout happened on the daily on the monthly time frame, I watched the daily. The first pullback on the 4 hour that coincided with the Fibonacci move, I jumped into the trade. <clears throat> As the market shot all the way to the upside because it was heading for 5k pips. And don't forget, this is something you guys need to understand. Just because the market is going to rally 5,000 pips doesn't mean the market is just going to move in a straight line. Psh! Doesn't work that way. The market will move, still move in waves. A lot of people don't like this. A lot of people cannot handle this because think about it. Today you're on 10K profit. Tomorrow you're in 6K profit. You're back to 8K. Now it's 5K and then you're back to 15K, 20K. And now you're back, back, back down to 9K. The market moves in waves. Now some people will be like, shit, let me just take my money and go. No. Nah. You need to relax. What you need to do is, as the market is waving, okay, all the way to the upside, oscillating, that's the word, oscillating all the way to the upside, just be locking in your profit. And understand that these big moves, anytime the market is oscillating to the upside, it is to your advantage. This way you have an opportunity to add more positions. But please, please, please understand this. Understand that before you add to an existing position, ensure that the previous position is airtight. Meaning that if, for instance, I get in at $5 and I see another opportunity at $15, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ensure that my $5 trade, I have moved the stop loss of my $5 trade to at least $4.5 or $5 or I'm talking about price. But simply meaning that I am eliminating the risk. 
forex traders you understand if you're if you're watching this you're probably a trader lock in your profit on the first trade before you add to another trade and ladies and gentlemen that's exactly how i was able to stack and compound gold all the way all the way to so the trade started at one thousand three hundred and forty five dollars an ounce i rode gold from one thousand three hundred and forty five dollars an ounce all the way up to a thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars an ounce five thousand pips a whole five thousand pips so i mean like forex mastery students you guys that are on the program you in one of the modules i literally speak about this trade but i felt the need to come on here and speak about it again so that you guys understand now all you need is one or two of these trades in a year and you're fine you'll flip that account in no time Okay, the reason I decided to come on here and explain this to you guys because I can see some massive, potential massive moves that might be happening in the market and I want you guys to be able to take advantage of this. You don't need to stress, don't need to stress yourself. Top-down analysis is the way, okay? Look at the markets on high tide. GBP USD at the market at the moment is looking like a potential massive drop, okay? Um, it's at a 50-50 zone at the moment. I'll be updating you guys, but my point is get ready okay don't be looking for too many trading opportunities left right and center okay look for the big boys okay and hold on to your winners this way you're not you're not trading too much you're not getting in and out because the problem with most day traders and lower time frame traders is today they're profitable tomorrow they're not profitable but look at me i'm catching big moves Sometimes you see I'm not on my YouTube. Sometimes you don't see me on YouTube talking about technicals and breaking down charts. It's because the market just isn't ripe. But the advantage of the Forex Mastery Program is that it will teach you how to know when the market is ripe. Exactly. So top-down analysis, as far as I'm concerned, is the most realistic way to go about it. Gold at the moment. Gold at the moment is at the top of is at the top of a very very serious resistance level um i am hoping that with the crisis that is happening i'm not happy about the crisis but i'm just saying with the whole crisis that is going on in europe at the moment gold you know if things continue gold should you know we should start seeing some new highs with gold crude oil as well guys like i said the reason i came on here to do this video is because i can see some potential big moves if you haven't already grabbed the program i strongly suggest you do so the link is around here somewhere so that you can prepare yourself if you're already on the program revisit nothing wrong with revisiting log back in once you pay for it once you have lifetime access you have no absolute excuse so ladies and gentlemen that's exactly how you know just by looking at gold from a monthly time frame and looking at a chart pattern and waiting for a neckline to break i was able to bag five thousand pips and make over a hundred and fifteen thousand us dollars in the span of four or five months no five months so i was just as market will go i was entered as market will just go up pull back i'll add another i was just adding 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 i was stacking boy you know i was stacking it was so easy so straightforward for every pullback i was adding to my trade and i was locking in until the market got to his resistance and did a massive reversal and then i had to close out all my trades so ladies and gentlemen um that's 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 um that's exactly how i was able to make over a hundred thousand dollars on a single trade it was gold it was absolutely fantastic and i want to say thank you for staying to the very end of this video um i have to go soon today's mother's day i want to take my mom and my grandma out to the Burj al Arab. i think that's how it's called so once again ladies and gentlemen thank you for staying to the very end um infinox reminded me <laughs> to tell you that they're my broker of preference they are my broker of preference they're absolutely fantastic um the link is going to be down in the description as always forex mastery students you know i love you guys very much the next video i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be okay i'll talk about i'll let me just keep you guys guessing if you haven't already grabbed the program i suggest you do so because i'm going to be doing something very special for the students i'm going to be shouting out all the students that are doing very well um with their trading i'm going to be promoting them here on my youtube channel to investors okay so if you haven't grabbed the program i suggest you do so um once again is yours truly dapo willis thank you for staying to the very end i'm trying to see if i forgot anything should i do a quick recap on that trade? it's so simple Forex Mastery students, I literally speak about it in one of the modules, okay? If you want to understand in detail how the trade played out, the entries and all that, click the link, description, click it, go to module 5. It's on there, understand it and, you know, be the best that you can be. Once again, take it easy, guys, and peace out.